Dolphin fans, how you feeling after your 28-17 win over the Los Angeles Rams? The Dolphins now move to 4-3, and three, pick up a big win, and Tua's first career start. I want everyone right now to start typing Tua. I want you to start typing win because this was a great game by the Dolphins. But if you're like lazy, let's just say, and you're just box score hunting, I mean, if you see that Tua didn't even throw for 100 passing yards, Miles Gaskin didn't even have 50 rushing yards, and the leading receiver for this team in this game was 16 yards. Gaskin, you're like, how in the world did the Miami Dolphins come away with the win? It's the defense, and I'm getting to a story in about five to six minutes here where I'm just going to say right now, Miami's defense starts deserves a lot more love. But let me know here in the comments section, who was the Miami Dolphins' Week 8 MVP? Was it Tua? Maybe it was Jakeem Grant. What about Ginkle? He deserves some love. He had a touchdown today. Could have been the entire defense. I mean, there's a lot of different options you could go here. I'm curious what y'all have to say in this one. Who was the Miami Dolphins' Week 8 MVP? Here at Chat Sports, we are about interactiveness. We want y'all to weigh in and let us know. Hopefully you're excited, but let me know. Week 8 MVP for Miami Dolphins. Let's take a look now at the quarterback, shall we? It's, uh, it's a lot different, right? Hard to believe that the guy that threw for 93 yards ended up beating the guy that threw for 355. But the reason why Goff had to throw so much, they were trailing this entire game. 35 of 61, 355 passing yards, a touchdown, two interceptions. He also lost two fumbles. I mean, Jared Goff, like, you're going to look at this, and you're going to be like, wow, pretty decent day. He did not play well whatsoever. Cooper Cup bailed him out a ton as well, over 100 receiving yards for Cup. But Tua, Tua didn't need to do anything special, and his stats don't look great. But he came away with the win, and that's the most important thing. Let's also look at the running back position now. Miles Gaskin continues to be the lead running back for the Dolphins. And this is just a guy that seventh rounder didn't really anticipate much of a role for this team. Jordan Howard's been bad. Matt Morita, again, didn't have a very good game. He leads the team in rushing yards. He finds the end zone and also leads the team with three receptions for 16 yards. Miles Gaskins has been a fun story and also a player that I think all Dolphin fans can say, you know what, I can get behind that guy. He's awesome. Let's all go to Jakeem Grant, maybe one of the fastest dudes in the NFL. This is one of these plays where when he caught the ball and he started running, he had 45 return yards for a kick return, but his punt return was fun to watch. If you guys get time, look up the highlights to it. One punt return, 88 yards, and to the hizzy. I mean, it was it was a good play here. Let's also look at Andrew Van Ginkle. This is a linebacker that was not really expected to play much of a role again this year. I'm just going to tip my cap over and over again to Brian Flores and this defensive staff. Three tackles this one, had a fumble recovery, and returned it for 78 yards and a touchdown. You remember how I was saying, wait a minute, how did they put up 28 points? You had a defensive touchdown, a special teams touchdown, and another bad turnover by Goff that led to that Miles Gaskins touchdown. I mean, this was a game one in a total, total team effort. And a dude that's been carrying the defense on his back, Jerome Baker. This is a guy where when they made the trade for Raekwon McMillan earlier in the year, this was a move where I think a lot of Dolphins fans were like, oh, I don't know if I like the move. we got to rely on Baker now. And he stepped up to the plate. You want to talk about a guy that has literally stepped up, been a leader on and off the field, another 13 tackles, five solo, had a pass breakup, got after the quarterback. He's one of the biggest reasons why this Dolphins defense as, is as successful as it is. Now, I'm asking for help here, okay? Let's get to 5,000 subs on this Dolphins YouTube channel, currently at 4,829. I know the entire chat sport team has been very impressed with how quickly this channel has grown, whether it's me making videos, whether it's Tom Harrison, no matter what, you guys have been awesome. But we want to be able to continue to make videos for the Dolphins fans. So if you are a subscriber, type sub. I'd love to see if you are. If you're not already subbed, make sure you click that big red button. Keeping you guys up to date on the latest news and rumors around the Dolphins. Also a lot of trade stuff coming on here. I don't know if they make any moves. But if you love the Dolphins, subscribe to our channel. The biggest storyline, Tua time, baby. And he gets a win. So 12-22. 93 yards, a touchdown. You see the quarterback rating there of 80.3. This was a game where he didn't need to do a lot. 
But at the end of the day, he came away with a win, and I actually thought that he played a very solid game. So rate it. Versus the Rams, scale from 0 to 100. 0 being he had the worst game ever. 100 being it was a perfect game. For me, I'm going to give Tua an 80, which is a solid B grade for me. Did he do anything spectacular? No. But if you ask Tua and if you ask the coaches, they're like, you know what? There's a lot of areas where he could have improved upon. 12 to 22. 10 incompletions. That's a little bit high for my taking. But you can see why they drafted him. He had a lot of poise. The excitement was there. Go ahead and rate Tua's game versus the Rams. You want to talk about an A-plus deal I got going on? These Dolphins t-shirts, only $19.99. We've put a lot of Dolphins products on this show. These two t-shirts here, probably my two favorites. If you want to be able to rep your favorite team and rep your city, you can do that. You can get this shirt at chatsports.com slash Dolphins T. I'm going to put the link that gets you these shirts in the chat below and in the description. So if for some reason you can't remember chatsports.com slash Dolphins T, don't yell at me. It's on you. You can go ahead and get these shirts. They are selling quickly, though. Chatsports.com slash Dolphins T. Look at the upcoming schedule now. Week 9 against the Cardinals on the road. And you got the Chargers, the Broncos, Jets, Bengals. I mean, for me, you get to really see how good this defense is going up against Kyler Murray on the road. Then you got the Chargers, Justin Herbert. He's been looking pretty good. The Broncos, I ain't too worried about them. The Jets, they're 0-8 for a reason. And then the Bengals. Bengals do have a pretty solid offense, and they did get a pretty good win today. But then you got Week 14. Then it gets really tough. You got the Chiefs, who I will still say is the best offensive team in the National Football League. With Week 15 against the Patriots, I mean, they're 2-5. and five. They look absolutely pathetic. Week 16 at the Raiders. That's going to be a game that I think could be major, major playoff implications coming into this week. The Dolphins were the 8th seed in the AFC. The Raiders were the 9th seed. The Raiders beat the Browns today, who were a 6th seed. The Colts also, they were a 7th seed as well. All right, week 17 then at the Bills. Let's look at the AFC East standings now, shall we? It looks a little bit weird seeing Patriots at 2-5, and five, but uh, come on, y'all. I love seeing it. The Bills, they picked up a win today. They're 6-2. and two. The Dolphins are 4-3. and three. The Patriots again, and then the Jets are just in a world of just bad all in themselves. They lost 35-9 to nine today against the Chiefs. One thing I wanted to find, though, or I should say one thing that I did find, and I know all y'all find pretty interesting, look at this AFC East point differential. I mean, what you all should do right now is take a screenshot of that, put it on Twitter, and start telling people, hey, put some respect on the Dolphins' name, plus 58. I mean, you can see <laughs> how it compares to the other teams there, and it's kind of funny see the Jets at a minus 144. But I think this question that I'm going to ask is a pretty legit one. Will the Dolphins make the playoffs? Why for yes and for no? For me, if you would ask me getting of the year, I said I would have said no. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I projected this team to go seven and nine. They're making me look pretty dumb. I owe Brian Flores a major apology. But I think one of the reasons why this team absolutely has a chance to make the playoffs is because of the defense. Like we talk about Fitzpatrick all the time. We talked about Tua. We talked about you know Devontae Parker, Preston Williams. Like they have a fun offense. But this defense deserves a lot of credit and deserves a lot of love. Right now, number one ranked scoring defense in the NFL, 18.5 points per game. That's as of me making this video right now. I don't know what's going to happen later on in some of the other games. They've allowed 34 total points in the last three games. That's what's known as stepping it up. And then the Dolphins have forced 13 ton turnovers this year. You want to go back and look at the last 10 years of all the bad Dolphins defenses, it's because they weren't getting after the quarterback, no turnovers, and just allowing a stupid amount of points in one year. And a defense that lost some players, that made some trades, that also some guys were like, man, I don't know how this team's going to look. This defense deserves a ton, a ton of credit. So if you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you're excited about this win. Tua gets his first win. The Dolphins, they improved to 4-3 and three over the L.A. Rams, who dropped to 5-3. and three. From top to bottom, a great team win. They get a defensive touchdown. You get a special teams touchdown. Miles Gaskin finds the end zone. Tua finds the end zone. Don't look at the box score because you're going to get lied to. The Dolphins, though, feeling pretty good with a win, 28-17 over the L.A. Rams.